Hello and welcome to Minecraft. I'm here in my uh, tech build in the uh, grand storage room where eventually everything will be stored. And today I thought I'd get started on the grand tech machine here, which will be built down here in theory. Now, what I'm thinking about doing initially is uh, sectioning this off. So, like, section one will be um, vanilla and I'll have machines that will produce all the vanilla tools. Section two will be industrial craft, which will produce all the industrial craft, equivalent exchange, etc., etc. what I can produce, anyways. So down here, among the uh, scorpions, and against this wall here, I figured I'll put as many as I can the compact blaze rods infinity loops, which will power uh, the equivalent exchange and the industrial power of all this equipment so and I realized I actually haven't shown you guys how the uh, compact version looks or works I guess so in this video I'll actually uh, build one so start over here in this corner and let's have each be one two three off okay so let's start with which ones uh, so let's start with the condensers and a filter and this will be for the blaze rods now let's have our there you go just to have some more Flying helps tremendously. All right, let's get the macerator down there. Oops. Let me reposition that. Sweet, it didn't break. Whew, held, held my breath on that one, I won't lie. So, now the important part about the macerator is you have to feed it from the top and these covers come greatly in handy so that way I can block it from going to the side and come straight to the top now let me throw one here and the reason I'm doing that simply as a placeholder so I could throw this down go ahead and destroy that get my screwdriver out and is that the red? yep voila there's a loop in essence So now I need power so let me throw a generator there now with these if I'm not mistaken I actually do have to feed it from the bottom oof sorry for the lag there we go now what I want to do There we go. And one more here. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. Now, the reason I'm doing this is I want it to fill the macerator first, and then the second option will be the uh, the generator after the macerator is full. So, oops. <laughs> So it So I need to break this one and this one. So there. <sighs> Trying to get some screen time there, aren't you? All right. So that way it goes to this one first being the closest open spot. Then when it's that's full, it'll go to here. Then once that's full, it'll go back into here which will be the blaze rods in general which actually I kinda don't want now that I think about it I want this to then come out here one two three so it's further than that and this will be the start of our heart 
start of the uh, energy condenser that will feed the rest. Now, as the lag catches up with us, see that only took two squares, so if I just build as many as I can from wall to wall, this will feed both, well, like this corner one actually will probably feed uh, blaze rods up to, uh, or fuel, I believe I'll do lava uh, generators, geothermic generators, and they'll go all the way up and down there and will uh, feed the power. So the two side ones will be the um, electrical power, and then the middle ones will be the equivalent exchange power. So I just wanted to show you that really quick quick and let me go grab some materials and I'll show you how to get it started okay welcome back now what happened is I went and got my stuff came back it was night time just had to clear out the rick oh for love of Pete the uh, rip wrath see out there amazing all that lag just because there's a little purple guy here all right anyways so I got all the stuff here I have threw in a stack here it's going this is ready to set up now I don't know if I've shown this before here I want to pull out stacks of 64 from the uh, macerator, macerator and then just two at a tick here now I did all this and I realized I had no redstone actually but lucky for me look at that Now, just to let you guys know, equally big empty room over there. I'm thinking about once I have everything uh, going here, let me temporarily put this here. Yeah, that's fine. I'm actually going to put this up against a wall and have it feed, uh, start all the machines here. But once I have all this going, I'm going to have all this feed into that room back there. And that could be a uh, master sorting machine to uh, get everything oops put it on the wrong side there we go and I um, need some more anyways master sorting machine and which will feed up to the top uh, storage room up there okay that should do it so there you go a compact infinity loop which will be that plus I don't know I'm thinking 10 others will be the heart of the grand ticket machine and will eventually and for the time being I'm gonna have this create that and this will feed a bunch of generators which will feed all the electrical power needs same for the opposite wall and then in the middle of course like I said before we'll all be making a uh, equivalent exchange so basically I'll probably have him produce diamonds and then he'll produce everything I need from there all the basic equipments be put together for all the uh, vanilla tools then all the industrial craft and then from there I'll have to see what I can make using these machines of mine so there you go now I just have to wait for this to start up and in the meanwhile let me so I don't waste in the meanwhile I'll create a couple more rolls of these and uh, then from there I'll show you well I actually have to plan it first what I'm, how I'm going to section off everything and maybe even show you the uh, the uh, sorting machine area so till next time see you later